the most important things you feel like a community or a city needs when they have disaster is water, food, medical attention, and housing. And they do. But I know from my personal experience that they would give up all those things to have one thing, to know where their family is at, to know if their family is living or dead. Because most of the time, when it has a disaster, they don't let the people of that community that's been devastated take part in the rebuilding. That's a huge problem. Well, I, I never been so humiliated and felt so helpless in my life. I was one of the first responders back and my thing was I just wanted to see my house to make sure it wasn't one of the ones I saw on TV floating. So, so when I came back, I wanted to just see my house. And uh, yeah, I came to the St. Claude Bridge to come over here and uh, I had my ID, I had my driver's license and I told the National Guard, I, I just, I just want to get closure. I want to just see if my house still standing you know, whatever that is. And he said, you can't do that. Well, I, I didn't know how to deal with that. For five months, I was numb. I could have this conversation with you and two minutes later, I couldn't tell you a word I said. I was hoping this was a bad dream. But every day I woke up, it kept getting worse until I finally decided to get up and fight. I've heard when I when when I first came back, a lot of the volunteers said, "Well, well, why you why you stay there? You know it's going to flood." Because our media don't tell them the truth. The Lord Night Ward never, ever floods unless the levees break. You fix the levees properly, we never ever flood. 1965, Bessie, the government admitted blowing the levees to take the pressure off the city, keep the city from flooding. In 1929 or 27, they admitted doing it, but they didn't do it in 05. Blame doesn't solve anything, the facts still remain that if the levees was fixed properly, we would have been sitting here talking right now. We didn't have a system in place for evacuation. We didn't have a system in place to actually bring the people back, and we still don't. It's really totally unacceptable, you know, to have people on rooftops four and five days with no water, no food, or anything in the greatest country in the world. That's not gonna change until we change it. If they have another Katrina today or tomorrow, basically the same thing would happen. What if cleaning the streets, how, how many degrees you need to clean the streets? What if we could have cleaned up by community? You see, because now we depended on the government for his femur, the road home that I call the road away from home. Where do you think we would be today? We would be at least 95%, uh, 98% back. If we would use a system similar to that, then people take ownership of their community because they are part of the rebuilding. When we have disaster, we handle it like war. We have the same mindset as war. Why do you think we was called refugees? 
I never thought about that before. But we may have been called refugees because it's a mindset of the army and how they operate. Things are not important. People are. I was hugely wrong about people. People care. They just didn't know what to do. People are still coming today, almost five years after the fact, because they care. I think anytime you have a disaster, the biggest mistake we make is not allowing the, the, the communities to be a part of the, the healing. Pay them that money. Then you're not waiting and begging for people to do something right. We need to take part in that. We need to definitely make that a part of disaster relief. Nothing can help or move faster than people can about people. It, it, nothing. No government or anything. I strongly believe in volunteers now. 75% of the work that's been done in New Orleans has been done by volunteers. You know that's going to be a part of it. Anytime you have disaster, you're going to have people that care about people and they're going to come in to help. So with that, how much you think it would cost us individually? It'll be way less than a dollar. And you could probably, depending on the disaster, a penny. A penny could probably clear up most disasters. So if it's that simple and that cheap, why we don't do it?